Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending April 23rd, 2021. The big news this week was Biden's Build Back Better tax agenda. Let's get into it. Okay, before we start discussing the Biden tax hike, I got to give you these disclosures. Stay in compliance, past performance, no guarantee of future result, no relationship form without, uh, of any kind without the express uh, written agreement. Therefore, and all investments carry a risk of loss of principal. And remember, if you're interested in crypto, you turn 2% of your portfolio into 6 to 8% within two to five years. That's the goal there. 100% volatility, though, you got to be accredited. Touch base with me. Let's now look at Biden's Build Back Better tax agenda to pay for infrastructure, however they define it. Okay, uh, uh, principal thing is through 2025, expanded tax credit uh, payment for parents. That's a monthly stipend, uh, three to six hundred dollars a month. That was set to expire December of 2021. That would then extend through 2025. So that four years of that. And um, goal was to cut child poverty uh, in half. Um, they're going to do that by taking the marginal top marginal tax bracket back to 39.6 uh, from 37 percent for top earners. That's pre-Tax Cut and Jobs Act in 2017, so that's uh, 2016 levels. Top level would go to 39.6, and also they would take long-term capital gains and, and, and virtually double that, so from 20% to 39.6, and that's what rile the markets, uh, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll drill down on that in just a sec. Uh, first, let's talk about the elimination of the step-up in basis for inherited assets. That's a big impact on Delaware statutory trusts and other types of estate planning. So watch out for that if that, if that goes in. Uh, also, taking away uh, the uh, deduction, the estate uh, uh, tax and, and, uh, and, and for heirs and, and the exemptions, and I'll, I'll touch base on that in the next slide, but uh, maintains a promise on though, this is only impacting those earning more than $400,000 a year. They're gonna increase enforcement on tax evasion uh, as well. Now, they're going to uh, restore the exemption rates, like I said, on, on, on the state tax planning at 2009 levels. So you're probably going to go from 11.5 million in portability. I don't know what happened to portability. Not a lot of talk on that yet, but back down to around 2.5 to $5 million, somewhere in that range uh, uh, of the 2009 levels. Um, expands uh, the earned income tax uh, credit for childless people uh, for 65 uh, years of age and older uh, and reduces line item deductions for taxable incomes of greater than 400000 And if you're making more than 400000 the big deal here also for companies is you're going to split that 6.2% each for uh, Social Security payroll taxes. Uh, if you're between one thirty-seven seven and four hundred thousand dollars, no change for you there. But look what he does for the earned income tax credit for those sixty-five years of age and older and are childless. If you have earned income of it's around twenty-two thousand and and uh, in, in, in change there, twenty-one and change somewhere around that. Uh, but he's going to triple that. So that would triple. That would end this year, twenty twenty-one. But that would triple. So that put almost around uh, fifteen hundred dollars. Now, what impact did this have on the markets? This is the five-minute tickers. This is the S&P 500. The x-axis got chopped out when we converted it to presentation, but that big drop right there, that cliff, uh, they fell off the cliff at 1,300 hours, uh, April 22nd, so 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I tried to rebound, ended up closing down around support for the day. Same story on mid-caps. Um, broke support uh, momentarily on mid-caps. Uh, they're they're trying to recover uh, right now um, uh, in Friday's trade uh, at inside day up at best for mid cap small cap same story everything fell off at at 1 p.m. Eastern on April 22nd Thursday um, closed down around support same story for the Nasdaq okay everything closed all the major indexes closed down around support the S and P 100 broke support. And so better watch out there. That's probably a harbinger of things to come. Um, Apple, uh, Amazon, the big, uh, big, big players there, you're seeing them at support uh, on Friday's trade right now, closed at support. 
uh, looking uh, looking tenuous for Facebook, uh, for Apple, for Amazon, Adobe, th those big players there, uh, drivers of the uh, uh, of the indexes are looking a little precarious there. If you don't know how to hedge, if you don't know how to properly hedge, give me a call if you need some help. All right, and uh, because uh, we're we're protecting our people's money and we're making them money. Uh, when we get it. So we're no fear right now. Nothing's falling apart, but you need to be, you need to be careful out there. Okay. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. If you need some help, call me.